Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Our Vision Farm. Today we're going to be finishing up our chicken, our meat chicken movable hoop houses. We started off one over here, but I wanted to record the process of building the second one. And we're going to cover it in chicken wire and we bought tarp to put on the top for, um, for extra shade and rain protection. So we're going to show you how we built these. Um, we expect to have about 25, 20 to 25 meat chickens in each one to start with. And then as we need more, we will build more. But for now, we're going to start with two. So we're going to show you how we built um, this one. So for the bottom base, we bought these PVC pipes. They are one and a half inches thick. And we connect them with these connectors and we put elbows on all corners. We connect them with these. We put three together to form the sides, the long sides. And then we connect the corners with these elbows. PVC pipe and we're not putting any glue or anything or screws through any of this is because we want it to be able to be easy to take apart when we're ready to move to our next property or if we just want to take them apart because we don't need one at the moment they're easy to take apart and just store away and rebuild again when we want to we're also going to use zip ties to attach the chicken wire and we're going to use bungee cords to attach the tarp um, you'll see all that process, but we're doing all that so that it's easy to take apart. Zip ties, you can just cut it with some scissors. And then these, you can just pull them apart as long as you don't put any glue or adhesive or anything. And the PVC also helps keep it really light so I can easily by myself pick this up and move it onto a fresh um, section of new grass every single day. I would just move the one half to one side and then go back to the other side and move the other half but I could easily do it by myself or if I have help um, we can easily do it as two as a team of two but PVC overall keeps it light and it's longer lasting than wood because eventually wood would start rotting with the weather so that's why we chose PVC All right, so we got the bottom frame pretty much done. Um, the next step is going to be to drill holes into the PVC like we did here. What size were those? The holes, we used a 7 8 inch um, drill bit or drill paddle. And we stuck half inch PVC pipes in the hole and then bend it to make the arch. We also noticed with the first frame that we built that the the hoops actually stretched out the whole greenhouse so I bought some extra bungees, a set of bungees because I'm going to try closing it up by putting bungee cords in the middle maybe like two of them and that'll help just push everything back together because right now you can see it's kind of stretching out in the middle instead of being a perfect rectangle like this so I'm hoping the bungee cords will do the trick with holding everything a little bit tighter together so it doesn't stretch out like that so the bungee cord in the middle definitely helped 
straighten everything out squeeze everything back together while he's finishing that one what i am doing is cutting the chicken wire into the length of the long skinny pvc pipes that we're using for the hoops um i think that'll be a good length for wrapping it so this chicken wire is going to be cut prior to putting it on here because the roll is pretty heavy to kind of lift it up so we'll lay it across these gaps right here and peep. We bought two sizes of zip ties. The bigger zip ties are to fasten the chicken wire to the base of the hoop house. And then we're gonna use these little mini zip ties to attach it to the skinny all along the border of this to attach it on there because we didn't need all the excess material from the big zip ties for that. But the bigger ones we needed for the thicker tube at the bottom. So that's how we're gonna fasten and secure the chicken wire to the hoop house.